G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, I just want to have a bit of a chat about a video that I want to make for a viewer. Now, I've had a viewer ask me um, to do this and I'm quite happy to do that. Um, hey Colin, please make a compilation for lightweight bare-based distros. I like the videos and I'm searching for a distro less than 900 megabytes that I can use by downloading anytime from my mobile data. Now, first of all, I thought this was probably going to be um, quite an easy um, video. I'll just put together some uh, distros and whatever, and lightweight ones that I'm aware of. Maybe give them a bit of a quick install and have a quick look at them in VirtualBox, which is probably what I'm going to do. But then some questions started popping up on this now going to be downloading using mobile data so the first question I'm asking is and I have asked to clarify but hasn't uh, sort of got back to me I'm assuming that uh, maybe it doesn't have a lot of internet access so there are some lightweight distros out there and I've had a look at some already and we'll quickly go through that but I do know there's Debian there's Ubuntu they offer mini ISOs or something like that. I know uh, Debian offers net install, but the problem I have here is the net installs like Debian, for example, how much are you gonna be downloading? Probably wouldn't know. Looking for less than 900 megabytes or less, then I'd have to think that looking at a distro that sort of, in the most part, comes sort of complete with enough applications to get you started, I would think. That would be my way of thinking anyway. I'm not 100% sure about that. But let's just have a quick look at what I've checked out so far. So what I've done is I've um, put them in here under lightweight. Now I've looked at Antics. I've looked at Archbang. Arch Linux, of course. I don't know what his uh, expertise are within the Linux environment. Bodhi Linux, Puppy Linux, that's the new Focal Fossa, one called Alpine Linux, Bunsen Labs, and there's the Debian network install. So what I've done is I've downloaded these uh, ISOs, and let's have a look at these. So the first one, Arch Labs, is 688 megabytes. This one here, um, Lithium 1 AMD, I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> Oh, what is that one? Well, let's continue. This is the Debian 10.6 net installer. That's 366 megabytes. Alpine Linux, which I haven't yet to check out. I haven't really heard of that one before, to be honest. 131 megabytes. Focal Fossa, Puppy Linux, 428. Archbang, 853. Bodhi Linux, 820. And Antics is probably a little bit out of those ones, which is uh, 1.3 gig. Um, now, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Yeah, there was another one. It's 1.3 gig. I, can't, I cannot remember. Uh, let's have a look. Um, let me have a look at my list in my browser, and that'll probably tell me which one that is. So Bunsen Labs. It's probably Bunsen Labs. That's probably what it is. Because all the other ones are there. So that's probably Bunsen Labs, that one. So that Bunsen Labs and Antics are a little bit on the high side. Whereas the other ones are all under 900 megabytes. So we've got Arch Labs Linux. Uh, Arch based Linux distro. Uh, that's inspired by Bunsen Labs. Inspired by Bunsen Labs, okay, so that's that one. So that's a few screenshots there. Then the Debian uh, network install from a minimal CD. So you've got that one. Then you've got Bunsen Labs, and let's have a look at the about. Oh, that's the lithium one, so is that the... Oh, that's lith lithium, it is Bunsen Labs, okay. So the distribution consists of configuration and res resource packages installed on top of Debian. There are no changes to the way Debian base system is administrated. Pre-configured open box window manager with Tint2 panel, Conky system monitor, 
and JG, JG menu. Okay, so it has the open box, Bunsen Labs. Then we have Alpine Linux, which I don't know anything about at all. Let's have a look at the about. Alpine Linux is a security oriented, lightweight Linux distribution based on MUSL, LibC and BusyBox. It's independent, non-commercial, general, pur general purpose Linux distribution designed for power users who appreciate security, simplicity and resource efficiency. All right, so I'd probably have to arc that up in a virtual box and see what that is all about. Then you've got Puppy Linux. This is the newest one, Focal uh, Fossa Pup. So that's the newest Puppy Linux. Now Puppy Linux can be installed to computer. I've got a video for that on how to do that. And that can be fairly lightweight and quite quick. Not as quick as when it's running in memory, that's for sure. <laughs> So there's, there's that one there, Puppy Linux. And then there's Bodhi Linux. Now Bodhi Linux has the, um, what's it called? The Moksha desktop environment. Um, let's have a look at the summary. So it's, it's a, quite a different type of um, distro Bodhi Linux, but I have tried it before. Uh, Bodhi is a minimalistic enlightened Linux desktop. So that's what uh, Bodhi Linux is. And then of course you've got Arch Linux. Now if he's happy to install Arch Linux, I, like I said, I don't know what his knowledge of Linux is. I have no idea. That's just another option. Then you have Arch Bang. Arch Bang is a simple um, GNU Linux distribution based on Arch Linux system combined with the i3 Tiling window manager. Suitable for both desktop and portable systems. It is light, fast and stable. So in another video, what I'm going to be doing is installing these in on a virtual box and having a look at what packages these um, distros come with and see if it's enough for the needs of this viewer. Antix is a fairly good one as well. Antix is... Um, based on Debian as well, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we're looking at 1.3 gig here. Summary, let's have a look at the summary. Antix is a fast, lightweight, and easy to install Linux live CD distribution based on Debian testing for Intel AMD 86 compatible systems. So yeah, that's Antix. So that's what I have so far. And I'm going to be giving these a, a, a try in VirtualBox. What I would like to do is get some feedback from uh, people who watch my videos and tell me what whether there's anything else that I'm missing that you believe that's under nine, 900 megabytes that could be a worthwhile download. Now, I'm hoping that uh, the viewer will get back to me in time and um, tell me what limitations are or can download because at the end of the day, if it doesn't net install, it doesn't know how much downloading as far as packages are concerned because a net install could download probably quite a fair bit. So that's, um, that's the area, the grey area for me where I, I'm not 100% sure in regards to that. So I suppose what I'm doing in this video is I'm I'm probably um, asking the viewers that watch my videos if there's anything that you know, any distros that you know that are possibly under 900 megabytes uh, that probably come with the applications or the bare applications needed to get started that I may not have shown in this video that is worthwhile um, putting into this compilation that I'm going to be making. Check it out quickly in VirtualBox. I suppose at this point in time, it's probably best that I go for the ones that are complete with um, with the packages installed already. So that's where I'm at with this video. Um, so if there's anything that you, you know of, um, minimal distros um, that's not on this list, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me some feedback on that. So we can check out in VirtualBox exactly uh, what packages are these distros have 
So hopefully we can uh, somehow find a distro that suits this viewer's needs. Uh, sounds like it might be um, restricted quite a fair bit when it comes to using data. Uh, it's probably something that myself and probably a lot of us take for granted. Um, you know, I'm, I've got no restrictions on what I can use. Uh, all I do is whinge about how slow it is. <laughs> so that's my situation. Um, probably shouldn't be complaining, should I? <laughs> so that's where I'm at with this video. So if you have a, a distro that you think you can add to my list, uh, bare base distros, lightweight, small footprint with the bare minimum packages that would get someone up and running, um, that would be really much appreciated if you could uh, add them in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.